So good evening, all of you. We are going to see a map, maps, two maps, which shows the university sport courts in 1980 and now. There is a comparison between two years uh, of uh, the facility that is the university sports courts in 1990, how it was and how it looks right now. We can say we focus on uh, the sports courts. We are not going to focus on trees, parks, car park. We are not going to see cafe reception and changing room. We are going to focus on the sports courts and the sports facilities. We do have only two facilities in 1990, which we have four facilities, indoor pool, fitness center, tennis courts, and basketball in, uh, at, at present. So we have to change that two facilities has changed to four facilities there and now. So we are not going to concentrate on these things. We are concentrating. This can be used as locations if you want. We have to focus on the sports facilities here instead. So once if you are going to write something more about this thing, this thing, this thing, and this thing, this thing, then you are out of the topic. You have to see what is the question? What are we comparing? We are comparing university sports courts. So something related to sports is to be discussed here. Now we have <clears throat> to see the changes. You, I have marked two facilities here, number one and number two, number one and number two. So what happened to this number one? That's outdoor pool has changed to an indoor pool. That's a number change number one. Now what happened to this tennis courts? You have a relocation of these tennis courts towards from this portion to this portion. And two more tennis courts are added to the existing number. So this is the second change what we can see. And what we can see the third change is uh, in place of this tennis court, we can see a fitness center. So this is the third thing that we, what we can see. This is the third thing. That's the third change. And the last one is the construction of a brand new basketball court at the place of the park. So these are the things we are going to highlight. So we need to understand what we need to do here. And we need to do something which is related to sports. And these are the things, these are the main features. And this is what we need to write in the task one. We are not going to focus on the other things here. These are subsidiary things. Uh, we can use it as um, helpful hints for location to identify the location. Then I can include that too, but don't focus on those, those things. Remember, don't focus on these things. Focus on the sports facilities, which is there. Now the visible transformations which occur to the university sports course at present compared to its outlook. So the introduction is given. You can say it has improved tremendously during the period in 1990. So this is the first paragraph in 1990, how it looked, it looked like this. So it's completely written in past tense. So we can see it's in the past tense, we have to say complete data in past tense. Now we have to say this particular paragraph, this is at present. So there occurred before changes at present, one can see, yes, it goes, one can see. It means one can see. At present, one can see. <clears throat> are constructed, are seen, relocated, can see, started functioning, is the new basketball, which is constructed. So it's uh, something different. We have, uh, we are going to dis describe some, something which is, seen at present. So that is a construction problem. So please be aware of the tense. Please be aware of what to compare. So this is the thing that I needed to highlight. Thank you.